Turning now to the campaign trail, some Republican presidential hopefuls gaining some traction after the first debate this week, with Vivek Ramaswamy in particular getting some buzz. But his growing recognition also coming with more scrutiny as comments comparing a black congresswoman to the KKK are drawing intense criticism now. News Nation correspondent Evan Moon live for us in Washington with the details tonight. Evan. That's right, Natasha. He's a businessman with no political background, but we've seen that work out for a presidential candidate before, of course. Vivek's fundraising and polling numbers ticking up after the first GOP debate, but with it all, increasing backlash from some of his more contentious comments. I'm the only person that can win in a landslide. As the self-proclaimed winner of the first GOP debate, businessman Vivek Ramaswamy is sneaking up in the polls and becoming a more widely known name as a 2024 contender. Yeah, I was the central figure in that debate, taking most of the attacks on stage, but also commanding and leading the way, winning the debate in most people's view. But his attention-grabbing performances are also coupled with growing controversy. When asked about former President Donald Trump today... I believe I can take the America First agenda even further than Donald Trump did. I think I will be more effective in uniting this country in the process. Ramaswamy claiming he can unite the country, but he's under fire for dividing comments. After calling Congresswoman Ayanna Presley a, quote, modern grand wizard of the KKK because she slammed Vivek for being a brown face that isn't a brown voice. These are the words of the modern grand wizards of the modern KKK. Presley's team saying a line was crossed with his rhetoric, but Ramaswamy defended his comments on the modern KKK jibe today. What I said is the Grand Wizards of the KKK would be proud of what they would hear her say, because there's nothing more racist than saying that your skin color predicts something no, about the content you did, you of your viewpoints that, you or your You didn't just your say ideas. they would be proud. You said these are the words of the modern Grand Wizards of the modern KKK. It is the same spirit. Ramaswamy also grabbing headlines by suggesting that should he take the Oval, Elon Musk may be his presidential advisor. A potentially controversial move after Musk's contested takeover of Twitter, now X, and the firing of nearly 80 percent of Twitter staff. Despite claims to better unite the country, Ramaswamy, who took part in his first national presidential town hall on News Nation this month, consistently defended the former president, his opponent. I think Trump was an excellent president. And I will be proud to still learn from the foundation that he laid and even understand what he would have done differently. So that's the way I think about my fellow competitors in this race. New polling shows Vivek Ramaswamy creeping up on runner-up Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, just three points behind after the debate. But still a long road ahead to next November. Definitely a long road ahead, but just after this first GOP debate, we've seen some interesting fundraising numbers that I do want to share. Uh, Vivek's campaign saying since last week's de debate, uh, he has raised nearly 650000 Uh DeSantis's camp saying they've raised more, over $1 million. But the most surprising, the Trump campaign saying the former president outdid them both, raising more than $7 million since just Thursday. And they didn't even take that debate stage. Uh, a campaign official adding that around $4 million was donated just yesterday alone, the highest grossing day of the entire campaign, Natasha. Okay, Evan Moon live for us in D.C. tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.